What's up, Tactical Arbitrage user, users, YouTubers, online arbitrageurs? Chris Grant here, and today we're going to be talking about how to get Keepa back into Tactical Arbitrage. Now, the problem is, is that Amazon has come out with some overarching rules, and it's basically affecting everybody who uses any kind of software. Tactical Arbitrage is not the first software that this has happened to. Uh, things like Inventory Lab and others have also been affected, uh, and Tactical Arbitrage is not the last software that's going to be affected. However, because the developers of both of these programs are wicked smart, they have been able to put in a workaround that allows you to put Keepa back inside of their softwares. Today, we're specifically going to be talking about Tactical Arbitrage and the Keepa link that everyone has known and loved up until oh, around 3 a.m. Saturday, September 21st. Uh, now... It is really easy to put back in there, and I'm going to show you the exact steps to do it. When you're on the View Data page, you're going to click this green little plus sign right here, and when you hover over it, it says Add Your Link. We click on that, and you get this little pop-up box here, and it says Add New, and you have a URL area. If the URL includes an ASIN, that ASIN will become dynamic. What that means is that if the URL has an ASIN in it, no matter what the ASIN is, Tactical Arbitrage will figure that out for you and it will replace whatever ASIN you have put in there with the proper ASIN. Okay? Then you're going to have some mouse over text, an identifier, and you can even upload a logo. So, what I've done is I've gone over to Keepa and I've found this Act Right 3 Count uh, Scissorp bundle uh, and up here we get this URL it's keepa.com forward slash pound sign exclamation point product forward slash one dash and then the ASIN I am going to highlight that and copy it okay we come back over here to our view data screen we put that in the URL box we put the mouse over text as keepa I'm gonna put my identifier as KP and then I'm going to click the upload logo button and I have made several lo or I've gotten several logos here and I resized one that should fit perfectly. And I'm going to open that and allow that to upload and once I hit save we are going to see that we now have a keep a button right here and if I click on that it's going to take me to the nice big keep a chart for this particular product so it's really really easy to do as long as you fo follow that simple process uh, down below I have uh, a place where you can go download that resized keep a uh, image there to be able to upload into your tactical arbitrage account so you don't have to go searching for it or resize it or anything like that and then before you leave make sure to gently smash the thumbs up button hit the subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one